Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Come join me on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. Hi and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do a demo on Resolve. Um, this is Resolve 17, but you can do the same demo in earlier versions of Resolve. Hopefully it's going to be a quick demo, uh, but it's something that saved my life as a grader quite a few times actually. And that is if you, well there's certain scenarios here. Today I'm going to show you Colour Trace, or basically copying your grades to another timeline. Now there's a few reasons you might want to do that. One is if you've got a corrupt timeline and you need to get, your. let's say your database is corrupted or your project's corrupted, but you can gain access to your sequence and let's say you can create another project and then you can import uh, your grades into a new timeline, you know, almost onto the same XML, let's say, or AF of, of the picture lock that you've got. So that's one way. So you can it can actually save your life in regards to, if you've got a corrupt timeline, um, you can very quickly get your grades and copy them across and you don't have to manually go through either grading again or manually going through dragging and dropping uh, from the still store. Um, so that's quite important. Um, another reason you might want to do it is you might have a sequence that's slightly different in some way. It might be a shorter cut, it might be a reversion, and this way you can still go through and take the majority of the grades and automatically apply them. Okay, we've got a sequence here called main colour. This is where my main grade is, okay? And this is just a, a fun little colour correction, um, just recorrecting the white balances. Nothing extravagant here, just, you know, uh, bringing it up. Uh, applying a little, uh, um, a few power windows here and there, a bit of sharpening. But the point is, if you've worked on a longer documentary or a longer film, applying manually those grades across 1,000 to 1,500 shots is tedious and tiresome. So the way that we're going to do this is that you can see that I've got another sequence here called ungraded. And this is the same sequence, pretty much, but with no, no grade on it. Okay. So the way that I would start this color trace is by going to the ungraded sequence. Okay. You want to right click on the undergraded sequence, go to timelines and go down to color trace and then go to color trace from timeline. Okay, this page will pop up. Now you can see that we can go to a local database, but if there are other databases in here, they're actually you can actually navigate to them as well. I'm just gonna jump into guess because I think I'm what I'm logged in as. I'm gonna to go to the project, which is here, it's the Unipro project going in there, and I'm gonna to go to this. Now this is the sequence here, main colour. You can see it over here. This is a sequence. Now if you had multiple sequences, they would all appear underneath this, this drop down menu, uh, arrow. Click on main color and go to continue and this panel will pop up. What's really cool about this is that it's showing you the clips of the timeline in order, okay? So it's shots one, two, three, all the way to six. Now the shots with a green board around, it's saying that Resolve is pretty confident that that's the right color grade, okay? So we've got four in here. We've also got um, a blue box. Now this is where Resolve is going, hmm, it's not sure. So the way that it would work is this. If you click onto the first shot here, now I know that that first shot is um, this shot, so that's fine, um, good. Go to this blue box here. Um, now it's not sure whether it's this grade or this grade, okay? So I'm just gonna um, double click on that and I've chosen that one. So sometimes you can be a little bit of money work, but not too much. Go to this green one, it's happy, there's no other choices. Go to this one, it's happy, there's no other choices. Go to this blue one, this is where a concern is. Now again, it's not sure whether it's grade is coming from this shot or this shot. Now we know, because we've got a thumbnail here, that it's coming from this shot. Double click, good, and that's locked. Now, if we jump over, you can see that it gives us loads of the parameters that we can copy across, but I'm just doing this purely for the grade at the moment. Um, you just go copy grade and exit. Okay, now, when we go to the un um, ungraded sequence and we jump into color, we can now see all of those grades have been applied. You can see the color reference indicator here. And if we go to this particular shot, we can turn it on and off. So that's a really, really simple demo of color trace on a very, very simple sequence. But the point is that if you have a corrupt timeline with a thousand shots in it, you can hopefully color trace from your main timeline that's corrupted or your projects that's corrupted and copy all these grades across and only have a tiny, tiny bit of manual work. Um, but ultimately, this is automated, so it's so much easier for you. Hope you've enjoyed that video. See you next time. If you liked that video, please give me a like or subscribe. Or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.